Franny K. Stein, math scientist. Lunch walks the moonless. Chapter 6. Back at the lab. Back in her room, Franny looked over her notes. She made some calculations and puzzled over her findings. Nice kids, she said finally. Kind of boring, but really nice. That night, Franny dreamed about how much fun it would have been to play dolls with those girls or to trade sandwiches at lunch. Even softball looked like fun, in spite of the fact that they used a kind of bat that didn't have cute veiny wings. Chapter 7 Making Monsters Early the next morning, as she was getting ready for school, Franny pulled down her copy of A Treasury of Monster Making Techniques and turned to the chapter on transformations. In particular, she studied the part that explained how to transform a little girl math scientist into something else. Franny's book on monster making carefully caught on the dotted lines on just the next two pages. Flip the sections back and forth and see what the recipe calls for to construct each particular monster you create. Warning, we, abs- we assume no responsibility if you actually create a real monster and it destroys your cities and eats your stuff. Recipe, wire, bolt, strings, perfume, cool clothes, his song, old pants, dad's shoes. Recipe, shampoo, blush, lipstick, zombie body, stinky vest, worms, balloons, popcorn, cotton candy. Recipe, zombie head, lightning, rot spots, spider legs, dance lessons, chunky heels. I know just what to do, she said, and she began combining honey, vanilla jelly beans, and pink soda. She poured the formula into a tall, pretty glass decorated with a happy sheep holding a puppy wearing diapers. Ugh, she said, how cute can you get? She put the mixture into one of her inventions and programmed in her note. The machine began to hum and shake and buzz and bake, and then finally it beamed, just like a microwave when your microwave popcorn is ready. Franny gazed at the potion. She held out her nose and drank it. She ran to the mirror and watched a strange transformation take place. Franny transformed carefully cut on the dotted lines on just the very next page. Flip the sections and watch in horror how Franny transforms. (gasps) Real Franny? Really? (laughs) When Franny came downstairs to breakfast, her mom took one look at her and dropped her toast. Her dad chalked on his coffee. Her Brother's eyes almost popped out of his head. Franny, her mother said, you look so nice. Franny did look nice. Her hair was cute. Her dress was pretty. Her shoes were adorable. She didn't really look like Franny anymore, but she looked nice. Kind of. Thanks, Mom, she said. Here's her description of something I like. I like prepared for lunch. It's strange and horribly exotic, but I appreciate it if you give it a try. Her mom looked at the recipe that Franny had given her. This says jelly and peanut butter between white bread slices. She said, I'm pretty sure I can make this, Franny. I've been making it for years. Excellent, Franny said, and she rubbed her hands, rubbed her hands together in a mass scientist way. Well, that's the end of today's story. Did you like my story? Then push the thumbs up sign or the subscribe button. Bye!